about how beautiful. Guys, I'm with little M. Some smoothies, approved. So I thought I could show you my outfit. Monday now and uh, just taking my parents into Dalesford and we're all feeling a little bit hungover I'm not gonna lie they've got some like really cute spring bits here so I'll show you a couple of bits and bobs Did a little performance class with Heli Poo. It was stunning. Stunning. Did you enjoy it? Mm -hmm. First time doing reformer. First time at Ron Rebel. Oh yeah. All good. We just got some smoothies. Approved. Approved. Cherry. You got the cherry one. Yeah. Chuck cherry. And yeah. I went for a mint one, which was like a last minute choice actually, and I'm kind of glad I did because it's delicious. Now we're gonna go to H&M home and do a little. A bit of a shop. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have some pillow cushions? Going for like a black panel. Yay. I like those. Hold on to them, but I really like those. I think they're simple. I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna take two brown. Take two. Good morning guys. I'm with little in. Hi. <laughs> Matching again. I, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Didn't even notice. Oh, hang on. I'm <laughs> little baby. Um yeah, we matched when we met up in Pratt. People were Pratt like looking actually. They I were. was like, hi twin! Because <laughs> yeah, we had matching twin blazers, no, um, trenches, trenches on. Yeah. And now we've got cream blazers on. Unintentional. Unintentional, but we're gonna do it. But we've ends today shooting and we're just saying that I think we're fortunate that we've picked maybe the least rainy. I know out of like two it looks like two weeks of rain, yeah. which is not nice, but um, yeah, got a couple of outfits to shoot around Notting Hill, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, that's what today consists of. So now I'm going to shoot ins. I'll put you on a little time lapse mm -hmm. to show you behind the scenes. Wow! Hey, 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 hey. Oh, we're in Joe and the Juice down Portobello Road. <laughs> Ince went for a club sandwich and I went for the classic spicy tuna. And we've got Portobello Gym behind me, which is very dangerous. But yeah, we've just finished shooting and now we're just chilling and eating and refueling. We did well. We did smashed it well. out. We really so did. do enjoy this. We can mm. catch you in a bit. Goodbye. <laughs> Starting in a weird situation where I am very ill, but I'm also trying on some summer dresses. I kindly received a really couple of really lovely parcels. I'm just doing some stories just to kind of share my thanks and also as well just to share how gorgeous these dresses are. Oh my god. So the first one is from Beach Cafe, which I will leave down below, but they've just sent me literally that's the aftermath in the background. I'm kind of trying to figure out where I'm gonna do like my style videos and bits and bobs like that um at the moment i've just looked literally this is instagram versus <laughs> reality um but i digress i wanted to show you this dress this is from beach cafe and this is a i can't remember what the brand is called a juliet dunn and i've always wanted to try one of their dresses and i saw this one and it just screams summer holidays. I just absolutely love the detail of it, the mirrored, the mirrored detailing and then the mixture of like the blue, the white and the taupe kind of um, embroidery and it just goes really well with my pearl necklace. I just think this is so cute. Actually not wearing a camisole underneath so if you see anything, apologies. Just got a nude bra and pants on so that's actually not too see-through for like you were just wearing a bikini underneath obviously as well you could definitely just put on um what's it called a little camisole underneath but i think that's actually not 
too bad for the like when you're on holiday i feel like it's kind of a bit more acceptable to be a bit more nude but yeah really stunning absolutely love this so i will leave this down below and it is stunning i've seen it in a bit more of brighter colors but i feel like this one everyone will love and i know my mom is going to scream when she sees this but yeah just thought it was a really cute dress so hopefully i can get some use out of it in the summer in england it's definitely got to be a hot day and i've got to find a perfect maybe like not a white camisole i hate when you can see it underneath the dress so maybe a bit more of a nude camisole which i do believe i have but yeah absolutely love this or just i'm not too bothered about the top being a little bit see-through but the bum probably needs a little bit of a lining um but yeah really gorgeous um so i thought i'd quickly show you that i think i'm gonna do a little bit of a haul today's a bit of a filming day just kind of getting back into the full swing of things because i've just been really ill for this is my sixth day being ill now. Not COVID, I have no clue what it is. Just all my sinuses, currently can't hear. My ears are blocked. So yeah, so just kind of doing as much as I can with the energy I can. So filmed my hair this morning, which I will leave, it's on my Instagram, so it should be live before this go live. And yeah, so doing some try on clips and then I'm gonna film some interior bits. So show you some new in bits from interiors and then I'm going to be filming a what I wore in a week which will be live before this because I'm literally filming this and then editing it on the same day so yeah I need to crack on um so I'm on schedule so yeah absolutely adore this dress I think the details is just oh so beautiful so very happy with that one okay the next one is the cutest this is from love shack fancy which i'm actually really gutted at because it's a little bit a little bit too big for me so it makes it a little bit gapy here which is fine but because i know there's a smaller size i know it would fit me a lot better but how beautiful very out my comfort zone with the amount of color but it is absolutely stunning and just it makes my skin really glowy, I must say. But it's a really lovely um, Love Shack Fancy, kind of like a tie-dye uh, style. And I just, the details, the quality, honestly, if you've ever like kind of thought about investing into Love Shack Fancy, 100% do because I think I'm going to as well because I love this dress this dress comes in black and white as well just yeah there's too much room in the um small so definitely keep to your size or go down a size because I was worried that they'd come up really petite because on the models they look so diddy so I thought it was quite a like small very petite framed clothing brand if you get what I mean and some brands you can just tell they're like you need to go up a size or down a size. So yeah, I'm quite shocked that these are quite big. This is a small, so I definitely need to go down to an extra small. But how pretty is this? So pretty and so fun. Like, imagine with some little sandals or white heels. Or dressed down with some chunky boots or trainers with a little denim jacket. Such a fun dress. Absolutely adore this. Okay, as these dresses are very, very stunning and very, very little, the next order I feel like is a good way of how to style it in a bit more of a colder country like the UK. We do have those lovely sunny spells, but this cardigan is the cutest. It's from Rhino and Pearl. This order is all from Out Dazzle. I've shopped with them a couple of times. This is kindly gifted as well. But it's this really lovely soft cardigan. You could definitely wear it on its own as um, just like a little jumper. But it is like a little jacket, which is really cute. So I've paired it with this cute little cord underneath. This is from Jace. I'll leave it all down below. Just wear an, wear an extra small in all of them. But yeah, the jacket is very cute. And I feel like that with some boots would look so pretty. So actually really happy with this. I was a bit nervous because this is um, a small size. That would be too small. I like things oversized. But actually... Actually, that looks very sweet. I'm gonna take this off and show you the two-piece. So this is the two-piece, which is <gasps> absolutely gorgeous. That is very, very sweet. And you can wear the top with some jeans or some shorts and then the skirt with a different top, maybe like a plain shirt, a blazer. Um, but yeah, absolutely love this. I think this will be my favorite summer piece to wear this summer because it's just so easy so comfortable but still looks very sexy very sweet and yeah absolutely love this so i'll leave this down below as well but yeah these are both from out this is from out dazzle and it's called jace um but yeah so gorgeous that is very pretty okay oh my goodness okay so i've just filmed my what i wear in a week and it's gonna be delayed actually because i've just been so ill and i keep crashing so i've been like <laughs> every outfit i've done i've kind of just like crashed and just sat down like for an hour <laughs> this is ridiculous 
it's taken me like two, two hours, two and a half hours to film seven outfits, which usually it takes me an hour. Usually I'm like speedy on it. But um, yeah, I've missed, I've definitely missed a posting time, editing time. That was a very long. I think I'm really hard on myself when it comes to resting. It's been five days and that still feels so long and I'm just so bored of being ill. But anyway, I got some new in bits and bobs that I wanted to I wanted to share with you. These are the new balances. I think these are 237. I've been on a hunt for a pair of new balances for a very long time now. Just because one, they just sell out instantly, and two, they're just like there's some that I just haven't been the right kind of shade and style for me. I have an old pair of these which are fabric. This bit's fabric, and they've done me so well, but uh, they get dirty very quickly so I was on the hunt for something which was a bit more durable and my friend Molly found the leather pair and I absolutely love the colourway so pretty it actually goes really nicely with this jumper so yeah they're this gorgeous uh, like taupey suede with a cream literally identical cream to my cardigan um, leather and then the white N. Um, really love these and then brown soles I got them from Fertilism Fertilism and they were £80. But for me, I think that was really good because I know I'm going to get so much wear out of them. They're super comfortable. I've been looking to get a new pair of trainers. Um, so for me, I was like, you need to do that. I absolutely love my Axel Arigatos, but they're not as comfy as these. I think as well, I feel like you have to go up a size as well. So I couldn't really walk around in Paris all day in these. So that's why I wanted another pair. Another favourite, another new in, which has like become of my favourite, is the Jimmy Choo. This is the, I can't even remember what it's called. I'll leave it down below. But oh my goodness, it just smells so wonderful. It's like very girly, which is like, sounds silly to say, but it's very, very floral. But it's quite got lovely undertones are quite musky the bottle is just beautiful i absolutely love that i think that's so elegant so i've been really loving that also got some new in bits in the bathroom so let's go and look at those okay so other new in bits is from one is from loxitan and this is the shower oil this is beautiful so it rubs in like kind of like um what's it called baby oil so you rub it in and it kind of turns into like a milky consistency it is gorgeous they also kindly sent me a refill as well so you just add this into that and it just wastes a lot less packaging and then i also have the clinique clarifying do over pill which i might try tonight i have already done a pill this week so no i did retinol last last night so i have to be careful because i'm using a stronger ingredients on my skin which is exciting but I have to take it slow but yeah that looks like a beautiful bottle um so yeah might give this a go at one point maybe i'll do a, a night where i show you my evening routine with my skincare so thank you very much clinique for that these were first originally designed to be in in uh, facial treatments because they're quite not delicate but quite intense it's incredible that brands have gone on to create some um overnight pills at home which are a bit more gentler than um ones you get at the the beauticians but um yeah very exciting so i think you could do this probably once or twice a week yeah at night time two to three times a week use as directed saturate cotton pad and sweep over clean skin we'll give that a go that's very exciting good morning guys so today is a bit of a appointment day today it's a day i go down to brighton and do some appointments so i'm off to go and get my nails done this is the old nails i went for that really cute gold foil kind of like that crack marbling effect um i think i'm gonna go for daisies now um my friend Gemma actually did daisies and they looked really cute so um i was messaging her last night saying i'm gonna instantly copy and then i'm off to my laser appointment i think this might be my second to last i've had quite a few but joe's been really lovely with um obviously the situation with covid and given a couple of complimentary ones just because of covid kind of like messing up the the routine for the hair to like die <laughs> so yeah i think this is like my maybe my second or third to last one but i've seen such a difference and it's like pretty much like all gone now or like really slowed down which is incredible so yes yeah, so that's bikini and underarm so i'm gonna do that and then yeah just work on the travel really i've got quite a casual comfy attire well <laughs> i've kind of got a comfy i'm sorry <laughs> kind of got a comfy casual attire just because 
I'm literally just walking around and running around. Um, so I've got my Sandro quilted jacket on, Tala leggings. My new New Balances that I got are really comfy. A little bit too big actually, that's all right. And then I've just got a black t-shirt on and also I've stole Laurie's vintage Ralph Lauren jumper because it's cozy. Hair slicked back and I've got my laptop some lunch ready to go and yeah oh actually i'm gonna show you my lunch because it looks really nice so for like on the go in here is tuna uh avocado cucumber uh tomato some mango which was frozen mango but it'll defrost by lunchtime so that'd be really nice like a poke bowl and then my homemade salsa verde well that was actually quite nice that salsa verde is very good thank you very much lorenzo I made it for um, when we had an ill weekend. I made a Mexican, which was... Um, and actually, we've run out of salsa verde, so I need to make some more. <gasps> Lost, I forgot to go to the um, spice shop to go and get my peppers. No. I might do that tonight. Well, I for you. Yeah. If you're going on a walk at lunchtime. Yeah, but... Basically, there was this spice shop. Could you get some jalapenos as well? The yeah, for yeah, Helena, please. Um, basically, there was this hello, um, this spice shop which was fabulous, and it had like loads of different spices. Like, you literally put the spice shop. yeah. If I go again, I'll try and vlog it. Um, but it had like loads of different like mixes of seasoning from like fajita to like Thai to Balinese, like nasi goreng. Um, and then they had like really good like prices on like large jars of jalapenos for two pounds. Um, everything it was really cool and they also did the dried hanging chili which i've been looking for because i want to hang it up here and he's actually gonna do one for me like a small version which will look really cute um just to decorate that place what's that noise like a fire alarm um so yeah so a bit more bit of an admin chilled day today which is quite nice so yeah so i'm gonna go and grab my train and head down to brighton Hello guys, so it is the evening now. I had my nails done, so sweet. If I can focus on that, I just had, I got my nails done. They're supposed to be daisies, but when we were doing the photos and videos, we couldn't stop laughing because they kind of look like the, um, like little fried eggs. I'm going to say that it's like Easter inspired. <laughs> so yeah, that was really lovely to catch up with Beth. And then I went and popped to my friend's new place. My friends Anna and Kieran have just bought a house and they're just like refurbing it, which is really exciting. And then I went to my laser appointment and I saw my mum, but I got home a few hours ago and I have just been chilling, had some dinner. Laurie's currently out. But I thought I would do a kind of get ready with me for the evening and show you what I do at home with my makeup and my skincare products. So the product I'm going to use to remove my makeup is the, this is the Clinique uh, Take the Day Off Balm. It is the best ever. It's so incredible. So I just put over my whole face some blobs and I was really against using a balm for a really long time because I thought that was what was breaking me out. But actually I think it was just the product itself, like the quality of the product because I think with this, this has actually cleared up my skin so much. So what I do is just do a really nice little massage and just blend that, um, the balm into my face. It just melts, it literally instantly melts the makeup off, which is just incredible. I actually today used the Clinique Mascara. It's a new one and it's, you can only remove it with water, which is incredible, but it's, um, yeah, really good. And it's really lightweight, which I really love, but it's quite hard to get off, which I guess is a good thing. But I thought it'd be easy as it's, um, you only need water to remove it. Even this balm can't take it off. So with a makeup removing cloth, I have different ones. I have a face halo. I have these little face halos, or I'm going to use a clean one. This is just um, a cloth and kind of easier to use. And I like to do double cleanse. It's just a small amount, just to do a double cleanse and just make sure I've got everything off my face. Oh, my nose was just bleeding then. I scratched it the other day. That's about my makeup removed right now i'm gonna go into my serums and moisturizer and usually I just like make a little concoction in my hand so i'm gonna go with my moisturizer i use at night time and daytime this is the one on skin day cream and it's super lightweight really lovely so i just put 
two little pea sizes in my hand and then i'm going to use this is the clinique fresh press it's like a vitamin c and you do two drops of that i'm actually going to put some fake tan in my little hand cocktail these are claren's face tanning drops and i do two pumps in my hand maybe do three and make sure you wash your hands after because it will tan i think that is it for tonight then just mix it all together and then start it in and I'm going to fake tan tomorrow because I've just had my laser. So it means I can fake tan for a few weeks. With my laser, you're not allowed to fake tan. You're allowed to naturally tan. You're not allowed to fake tan. So now I've done all that, I can fake tan. Which is going to be lovely because I feel like a ghost. <laughs> Last but not least, I'm going to be putting on the Marad. This is a Target wrinkle corrector. And it's got like a metal thing. And I just, I'm going to put it under my eyes, forehead, anywhere where I can get a wrinkle. Also, I've been doing this as well. I look like a skeleton. But I just like to massage that in. And that really helps with anti-aging. So I'm going to do it. To prevent the wrinkles as we get older i'm just going to just do circular motions on my forehead probably doing it all wrong but hey ho just on my frown and then on this side kind of like a lymphatic drainage this metal thing it's so nice and cool and if i could erase it that'd be amazing so yeah guys that is my skincare for this evening i'm going to now go and sit in bed and watch the rest of a film i'm watching i can't remember the film for the life of me um but yeah i'm gonna brush my teeth and head to bed so i'll see you guys Well, what, what a stressful day it's been. I was kind of like tempted to vlog all the whole situation, but then in the end I was like, I just don't know what's going on. Um, and my hair was just all over the show and I'm just feeling poorly. But so yeah, so we have the uh, bedside, the chest of drawers, which, sorry if you can hear the music, which I actually, now I've put all my like little bits and bobs, I don't mind it. And then if I got a big mirror to go up here, I think that will look so lovely as well. So this is from Swoon. Um, we haven't got the legs on it yet, so it feels a little bit more smaller, but I wanted to wait until Laurie got here so he can say yes or no. But if I got a massive mirror there, and I've seen, I'm gonna put a picture on the screen, this like bowl plant, um, kind of like pot which is on the stand and I think that would look really pretty so I don't know but the perks is I actually really like the mirror here I think that just really brightens up this place and yeah as you can see here this is a situation <laughs> um, but yeah I wanted to quickly show you my outfit also as well I don't think this is Laurie's old lamp I don't think that suits this house um, so I'm gonna have words with him but <laughs> yeah I just don't think it really goes with the house I don't know it just doesn't really fit in um so we're gonna think about that um but i've just put on my outfit for tonight so i've got my zara clock trousers new balance trainers uh just my zara blouse and then this new linen river island blazer i've just done my hair just straight and then i've just done my everyday makeup so i'm actually going to pack away builders classic um helena's presents so what have i got for them i've got the bowls that I bought them from um, from the Flatbury restaurant clearance, these are some of the bowls as well. I've just actually put them there and as you can see in the other one. And then I went to this place called Jer Jeroboans and I've got vermouth olives, which I think I'm going to swap for the cold ones in here actually. So these are the Pirello ones, which I need to... I'll remove the price tag um but yeah but I got them removed the other day I mean the other day literally months ago um I saw it and picked it up but I haven't been to Helena's house yet these are apparently the best olives and I've tried them out and I can recommend that they really are these are so yummy and I love the the cans they come in so I got her some of those to try and then some champagne I just picked up this is the latent champagne so I'm gonna put that in the um, little kitty bag and um, yeah oh also as well I'm gonna show you what I got from uh, flat free but I got this carafe we broke ours and um, yeah 
that was meant to be because look how cute that is so pretty honestly i was so over the moon with the like flat clearance flat free restaurant clearance because it's just it was such good quality products and i knew it was going to be because i knew that flat free was quite a dear like expensive restaurant so they were going to have like really incredible china and everything was like six pounds and everything so like, very good deal so yeah i'm gonna pack this all away close the doors and head to helena's for some little bubble hello, hello. <laughs> i'm with healthy poo and we've got little shampers and crisps and vino cheers, cheers to my husband cheers <laughs> yeah. no, no i i i he's fucking cheese. crazy also the fact yeah. that good morning guys i hope you're doing well so i think i'm gonna leave in some clips of like pictures and everything which happened this weekend because i had such a fun weekend and i don't know why i didn't vlog because it was so lovely it was just i was with all my loved ones i think the last time i saw you probably was when i went to the gym i think that's when i last saw you and full circle around i'm off to the gym again it is friday it's monday it's a bank holiday monday which is lovely it's been just such a wonderful weekend so friday i then went for a shoot with my friend Purdy and we did a couple of outfits just like around my local area and the sun was shining and then I met up with Laurie and our friends and we went to the ship in Wandsworth. First time going there, it was just manic, it was just madness, it was, it was really cool but it was just a really bizarre location, like there were so many like fancy people there, like all these like Ferraris and everything and it was just like... It was a really like rundown pub. It was just the bizarrest thing, but um, it was very entertaining for people watching. And then we went back to our friend Tiana's house, and that was just so lovely, so fun. And then on Saturday, Laurie and I had a proper chilled morning, just like lying in the park eating porridge. And then we actually did a lot of gardening, like lots of deep weeding and stuff. So maybe I'll go out there with you later. And then I had my uni girls, which was so lovely like just the sweetest humblest thing um we went to a couple of um places near me and yeah had some pizza drank quite a lot so yeah it's been so lovely um i just forgot to vlog in in the sense i i kind of just wanted to enjoy it all yeah no so i'm off to the gym again i'm in a jumper today because i didn't know if to bring a coat or not um and it's a another version jumper and it's really soft really love it so i'll leave it down below that's just my normal gym gear. So I'm going to head off to do a rebel class. I'm doing, I think it's full body. Full body and reshape, I believe. These classes are so fun. Yeah, reshape, full body and abs. Yeah, so that is plan of action for this morning. And then I got some DIY bits yesterday. Um, the console table's in the lounge. I started sanding one down and it took me like two or three hours. So that was probably something which would have been very boring to vlog. Um, but I will show you what it looks like and I'm going to paint it um, because the sun is shining so that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to come home, have a shower, I think I'm going to put hair treatment in my hair, have some breakfast um, and then yeah, do a first coating of that. But yeah, I'll quickly show you my outfit and then I'm going to head out the door. Okay, so, so my sunglasses are from Ganny. This jumper again I said is um, another version. I've got a Sweaty Betty vest on, um, some Tala leggings, my old New Bounces because they're just so comfy. And I've actually got my Pauline Paris bag. It's just, this bag is fabulous with my water bottle in. Off to the gym I go. <laughs> the thing about living around here is that it is so quiet in the morning. I'm off to the gym, got a coffee. But look, it's just so dead. Stunning. Okay, so this is the before. Got my coffee and my paint. Let me get cracking. First 
first layer is complete. It's looking worse for wear at the moment, but it will be really lovely. It's actually a really nice white. I can't remember the colour of it. I've just actually got my marigold hands, my marigold gloves on. Um, but yeah, no, it looks good. So I'm going to let that dry and I might do a coat later or tomorrow. But next job is to clean this. Can you see it's like all dirty? So I have some, this is sugar water and you put it in with some water. A sponge and you just scrub away and it should do the trick. We did it outside and it looked amazing. So yeah, going to do that now. fresh face in my gym wear and a blazer i'm actually off to do a boxing class with my friend chloe at rebel i think it's called rumble and i've done it before and it was really good um i think i said that i also actually i think i prefer the co box one because it's a bit more fun um but i love all the other rebel classes um so yeah so i'm off to that and it's a 8 a.m class and then we are going for breakfast with charlotte tilbury at the brasserie of light in Selfridges, which would be really lovely to catch up with everybody and the Charlotte Tilbury girls. So yeah, so I'm ready to go. If I'd quickly show you my my bag. So I brought an outfit, just brought my Chanel. Um, I brought a suit because I've got the blazer on. Um, so I brought the matching trousers, a oversized white shirt, and also like a little cami just in case I decide on a different outfit. Um, wallet, keys, my Axel Arigato trainers and also as well this is the flat lay co bag and it's just literally got all my products in it and i've just thrown in these two new products um i've actually just put the um this one in my brows and it's fantastic this is the triple precision brow definer and mine's literally just about to run out so i saw those and i just grabbed them so yeah so i've had a coffee <laughs> so i'm gonna head out the door now and this bag also is from, it's old, it's a um, accessories bag, which is really handy. Um, I do have my eyes on the Chloe one, because I just think I need like a smart tote bag for work and stuff. So yeah, I have my eye on that. But this will do for now, and it kind of goes with my outfit. So yeah, let's head out the door. Hello. Hello, hello. I'm with Chloe. We're both slick back. I actually can't see on the. It's basically screen. a bit of sweat in there, but yeah. Hair spray. <laughs> We've done a box rebel. No, rumble. rumble. A rumble boxing class. It was your first time. Yeah, it was. And uh, now I'm like starving. So we're gonna go to the um, Charlotte Tilbury event at the Brasserie of Light in Selfridges, which I think I've only been once. Really? Yeah. I think so it's nice. Yeah, I love the setting. So yeah, I'm desperate for coffee. Oh my god, yeah, you have another coffee. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. <laughs> my second coffee but um yeah we're all sunny today it's lovely look at us and <laughs> little boiled eggs <laughs> oh, okay. I will never unsee that now <laughs> right we'll get to the morning morning <laughs> so I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit for today so I've got my old kind of like a sage mint green trousers from Topshop my Axel Arigato trainers and this fall from reckless oversized white shirt and this necklace is more like a Veneta. Mm -hmm. 